Woman's car catches fire near the St. John's River, so an off-duty firefighter and another driver come to her rescue. Tonight, they are getting credit for saving her life. New 6's Clay Lapart explains how they risked their own lives to save her. No idea that we were on the bridge still. It happened so fast. These pictures from Orange County Fire Rescue show what's left of this Volvo after it caught fire early this morning. There was no way that she was going to get out of that vehicle on her own, especially with it on fire, as involved as it was. According to troopers, it all happened a little before 7 along this stretch of 528 near the Orange County Brevard County line. Troopers say this white sedan was slowing down for another crash on this bridge over the St. John's River when it got rear-ended and caught fire. When I stopped, I looked up in my rear view mirror and saw a third vehicle coming at me at, I assume, 80 miles an hour, rubbing the rail and throwing sparks. Lieutenant Jason McNally with Orange County Fire Rescue was off duty and on his way to work when he was driving by and stopped. He and another driver tried to pull the 54-year-old woman out of her burning car, and in doing so, the two fell what he says felt like 30 feet into the St. John's River. About halfway down, I realized that I was, I was falling, and I braced myself to hit the pavement, and I was so relieved to hit the water. A terrifying situation that McNally says could have been a lot worse. Both men were able to swim to safety and found the woman was able to get out of the burning car thanks to the help of another bystander. Everyone involved was extremely lucky. We're told that woman, along with Lieutenant McNally and the other driver, are all doing okay after that early morning car fire. The crash, though, remains under investigation. In Orange County, Clay Lepard, News 6.